So hello everyone, welcome back here to this another video of our uh, array playlist. So today's question name is leaders in an array. And yes, I have now finally returned to my home, or let's say room in Bangalore. So yes, uh, computer is finished, so it's been fun. I'll put it specifically for this vlog, as you know. So I've put two shots already, but yeah. Okay, let's question. Let's see the question, it's very easy and I think you'll be able to do this question. बहुत इजी क्वेश्चन है एक सो गिवन एन एरे ऑफ पॉजिटिव इंटीजर्स हमें बस इतना करना है यार कि ये जो लेट्स से कोई करंट एलिमेंट हमारे पास 5 राइट right? तो उसके राइट right में जितने भी एलिमेंट्स हैं दोस एलिमेंट्स शुड बी लेसर देन इक्वल्स टू दिस करंट एलिमेंट दैट्स इट राइट तो अगर आप 2 के 2 के पास जाओगे तो राइट right में कोई एलिमेंट्स है ही नहीं इसके राइट सो दिस इज द लीडर ऑफ ऑल द राइट ऑफ ऑल द राइट एलिमेंट्स क्योंकि है ही नहीं कुछ वहां पे सिमिलरली 5 के लिए इसके राइट right में जो भी एलिमेंट्स है या तो इसके इससे छोटे हैं या तो इसके बराबर है राइट so that is why 5 is also an leader. Similarly for 3, 3 cannot be a leader because the elements right to it, let's say 5 is greater than the, the 3, right? So 4 is of 4 being again for 17, you can see that the, all the right elements to the 17 is lesser than equals to this element. So that's the 17 is leader. And similarly goes for 16, 17 present, in, present on the right is greater than my current element. So 16 is not a leader, right? So how can we do it? What we discussed, method 1 will be Method 1 will be that we travel for each and every element. हम एक फॉर लूप लगा लें i equals to 0 से n तक चले जाएं ठीक है n minus 1 तक and for each and every element हम क्या करेंगे j equals to i plus 1 से n minus 1 तक जाएंगे we will check that if I found any element if I found any element I will just say array of j any element in the right greater than my current element then I will say return false return false means that array of i is not a leader that I will just write it here array of i is not a leader correct correct so in this in this case what would be the time complexity time complexity would be o of n square because we are using two nested for loop and space complexity would be o of one right so in this this first for loop will take o of n and then for j goes from i goes to n plus one right so this will also take o of n so what is the constraint given here What's the constraint? Constraint is 10 power 7, right? If you do 10 power 7 whole square, n is actually 10 power 7 and our time is n square. So 10 power 7 whole square will give you 10 power 14, which is nothing but greater than 10 power 8. So even if a code and approach is right, this solution will give us the TLA because to uh, have our success, successful submission, you need to complete your problem. You need to code the approach in less than 10 power 8 iterations. Okay? Method 2. Method 2 is also very simple here. Okay, I think you were, be, you were able to do this, but still, let's go ahead. So, what we will do, we know that the every element, the last element present is always the leader, right? And let us use this advantage, right? So, what we will do, we have the element 10, 7, 10, 4, 3, 6, 5, right? So, I will start from here and I will say that this is my leader. We will have a AL, where we will array list, where we will store the answer. So, 5 is already a leader, right? And we will track one more variable, let's say current leader. Current leader is nothing but as of noise 5 and i equals to n minus 1. And i equals to n minus 1 is nothing but, let me do a dry run for you, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So when i equals to 5, the current leader is 5 and in the array list have the AL, uh, the 5 in, right? So for i equals to 4, what we will check? That this element should be greater than this 5, right? So that it is right so what we will do the current leader ko bhi update karenge as 6 and answer as 6 because when we move towards the left right when we compare for this 3 then we just need to we just need to maintain that what's the maximum in the right hand side if we have maintained what's the maximum then using that maximum we can compare with our current element and then just by comparing one operation that is the current element and the maximum element in the right would give our answer that the current element is leader or not correct so that is why we will keep on updating once we are getting uh, higher elements in the right hand side okay so six is the answer again and now the current leader is six this current leader is nothing but the maximum present in the right hand side for our next iterations so for i equals to three what is this three so i will just check with this current leader if three is less less than or greater than six so three is less than 6 right so this is not a leader so 3 is not a leader similarly for i equals to 2 what will happen 4 now 4 is again less than 6 so 4 is also not a leader so for i equals to 1 10 now 10 is greater than 6 right so that means all the elements in the right should be lesser than 10 
because six was the maximum among, among all the right elements we maintain that track right so now the current data should be updated with the maximum elements with the maximum element so it would be 10 here and 10 will also be added in our answer okay so for i equals to zero i will check seven so seven will be compared with this current leader which is actually indicating the maximum element present in the right hand side so for seven it is lesser than 10 so nothing will happen and you can see that these are the leaders present in our in this particular array but while we were storing this particular thing in the array in the array list so the order was first we stored five then we stored six then we stored ten right so that means before returning it the output i want is in this format right so before returning it we will just reverse it using the collections dot reverse in java inbuilt function will reverse it or else we can use an, an extra for loop to reverse the element so this inbuilt function also take o of n, o of n time but that's a parallel work we will do so overall time complexity remains unchanged so let us see the java code now okay so here's the java code we have made an array list now the last element we know it's a leader so we have marked that particular element the last element in our answer already and we have instead of current leader i'm using an answer variable right now we started it write it iterating from i equals to n minus 2 to greater than equals to 0 and then we keep on checking if the current element is greater than uh, greater than or equals to our current leader which is nothing but the maximum of the elements present in the right hand side of that current element of this ith index you can say right since we so if that's a leader then you need to update your current leader as well and you need to add that leader you need to add that current element in your answer and that is it at last we are we are, we are just reversing it and that will serve a purpose let us compile and run so again the time complexity is o of n here because this is the first for loop and this is the reverse function also take o of n so o of 2n ignoring the constant it will be o of n and what's the space complexity space complexity will be o of 1 since we have not used any additional space just some variables let us switch back to the c plus code now okay so that is the c plus code now and that is also successful, successfully submitted so do not worry you can get the source code links this uh, links in my description um, there is a used dsa repository you can start and fork uh, that repository as well to get help with the source code so till then keep learning keep growing bye bye and take care guys that is made in the next video for our playlist okay bye bye